Well, last night's big announcement was that from July 1, all households will get a rebate on their electricity bills. $75 each quarter, adding up to $300. That's on top of the money people will get back under the Stage 3 tax cuts, which were adjusted to benefit low to middle income workers. Anyone with a Medicare card will benefit from a one-year freeze in the cost of PBS listed medicines. For concession card holders and pensioners, prices will stay the same for five years. In aged care, there's another half a billion dollars for home care packages, as well as money to help get older patients discharged from hospitals sooner. It's bad news for most aspiring home buyers and renters, with nothing new in the budget for you, but Commonwealth rent assistance payments will be increased by 10% from September this year, helping around one million people. There's plenty of new money for energy and manufacturing under the government's Future Made in Australia plan, which will offer tax subsidies for critical minerals and hydrogen and support clean energy technologies. As previously announced, domestic violence victims will be able to access $5,000 payments to help them leave abusive relationships, while more money will also go towards crisis accommodation. Students could end, could end up as big winners with proposed changes to HEX that would decrease indexation. And there's good news for small businesses with the instant asset write-off scheme extended for another year. Women get a few budget items including superannuation on top of Commonwealth funded paid parental leave at a cost of $1.1 billion over four years. And there's also more money for endometriosis and other complex conditions. They'll be plenty disappointed with no increase to job seeker and no changes for childcare. While spending on the National Disability Insurance Scheme will grow, the government will find $14 billion in savings over four years. Net overseas migration is forecast to halve to 260,000 people next financial year. And the details of any cap on international student numbers is still being worked through. But the Treasurer had a strong message to universities in his budget speech last night. If they want to enrol more students, they need to build more student accommodation themselves.